Okay, so today we're gonna see how you can play Ready or Not with higher FPS without sacrificing graphics. Uh, I watched various different videos on YouTube because my rig wasn't really good. Uh, and by that, I mean my graphic card specifically was really bad. Just in case, let me show you. Because I have a GT1030, 2GB, GTDR5. So yeah, the graphic card is, you know, just really bad. As you can see here, NVIDIA GT1030. So yeah, when I launched the game, it was like uh, 10 to 12 FPS. And when I went in game, it was like 5 or 2 FPS. So it was literally unplayable. I did go to YouTube and watched various different videos on ready or not optimizations and I guess you might have also watched some. I tried everything and I'm not bragging but trust me, none of them helped me. It did increase a bit of performance but it wasn't, you know, satisfactory. It was still unplayable. So I almost gave up but I have been trying for 3-4 days and yesterday only I found the best settings for me. And I hope they will work for you as well, so you might give it a try. Uh, without wasting much time, let's get into the video. Okay, uh, the first thing is obviously, go to your web browser and the link will be in the description, obviously. But uh, if you have watched other videos, you might know because even they have shown downloading this DLSS update thing. It doesn't matter if you have a GeForce graphic card, I mean NVIDIA graphic card or AMD one, doesn't matter, just go ahead and download it. I don't know if it helps, but yeah, it does increase performance a bit. So what you gotta do is open your downloads folder, you will have this downloaded file, then go to ready or not, file location, ready or not, plugins, DLSS, binaries, third party, 64, and here just keep a backup of this file once backed up you can just put the file here and replace it because this is what most of the videos told and I did it but there wasn't much of a performance boost so what I did afterwards is just open the game because I will show you the in-game settings because no matter what you do outside the game it won't make much of a difference because the I don't know why but the in-game settings will drastically have a performance impact. So let's see what are the in-game settings. Okay, so let's go to settings and you can see in the, on the graphics, the option is custom because, okay, wait, let's wait a minute. Let me just explain. By default, you can just go ahead and choose low, high or medium. But if you ask me, just playing on low settings will be really, really bad. The graphics will be degraded and even the FPS will be really bad. Why and how to fix that I will tell you everything later on. And as you can see the resolution is turned down to 1366 x 768. Whereas my actual resolution is 1920 x 1080. Reducing resolution increases FPS a lot but it will make the game look a bit more pixelated. But don't worry we will fix the pixelation and we'll get clarity in the game. Uh, in the next steps so just watch just go to advanced graphic settings and texture quality you can see it's set on epic I mean for more FPS for a better performance you might think that it should be low not only the texture quality but everything all the settings should be low but you can see texture set uh, texture settings are set to epic and post processing is set to medium and anti-aliasing is set to epic why uh, it is said that anti-aliasing does have a performance impact, but trust me, I set it from low to epic. I didn't see much of a difference. I mean, it might have a difference in the performance, but I didn't see any drop in the performance. But by the way, just keep these settings and I will show you the gameplay and how it plays out with the combination of settings that I have shown. So epic, low, medium, now just uncheck all these boxes. You might turn on VSync. You can just turn it off and on and see what's fit for you because sometimes capping the FPS for lower end PCs is helpful, but obviously you can try it out. Whether you should turn it on or off, you can just try it on your own. But for me, I have kept it off. And under FSR quality, you just have to set it to performance. By default, it may be off. So just drag it all the way to performance. 
and nvidia reflects low latency that's your choice you can go ahead and choose on plus boost but i have disabled it apply settings and let's go into the game you can see the game doesn't look really bad because if you change any of these settings like if you turn down anti-aliasing the game will be pixelated because the resolution is already reduced and texture quality set to epic if you set it low medium or even high the game looks really bad and what the game will look like i will show you in a moment just wait first of all let's see how the game plays out you can have a look at the fps the fps will be somewhat around 30 to 45 or 60 mostly sometimes the fps may go up to 110 or 120 as in my case and you can see right now the tattoos on the hand and the gun and the gloves look clear whereas if you turn down anti-aliasing you will see a gray glove no detail and a gray gun without any details on it and even the tattoo on the hand will look like just a black smudge and let me show you how it looks uh, so here is a side by side comparison of the low settings versus the settings I showed you so you can see the graphics are kind of bland the texture is really bad and even the FPS are not really good even after you sacrifice the graphics the, you can see the FPS are really bad so just try out the settings I showed you and I hope they worked for me because I tried to figure them out and it took around 3-4 days to get the best settings and I got good FPS along with some good graphics right without sacrificing graphics and high FPS so this was the tutorial anyways uh, if this was helpful make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you have friends who play ready or not so go ahead and share this video and see you soon in the next video because the next video will be out very soon so yeah, thanks for watching.